What is going on guys? Here on Peconic Bay. Welcome back to Cooking with Clams. I'm Will and I got this guy here. <laughs> got him all the way up to New York and I'm here with Will Peckham. What up? He is the owner of West Robin Oysters and we're on the oyster farm. If you watched uh, the last video then you know we harvested some oysters, did a cool recipe with them. But uh, what we're gonna do right now is some porgy fishing. Aaron's favorite. That's my favorite thing on planet Earth. That's what <laughs> I was born to do. Oysters and porgies. But yeah, we're gonna get in it. All right, Will's going on first drop. Yeah, first drop. I promised. Uh, I promised Will that we'd catch one in about six seconds. So here we go. If you wanna, if you wanna count it from home, go ahead. <laughs> oh, they're on it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, double. Double. This is my kind of fishing right here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Bail them. <laughs> I think we got a keeper and a short. Yeah. Porgy. Uh, what's the size on porgy? Ten and a half. So the, nine. the nine here, wait, it's nine here? Yeah. Stop it. Yeah. Okay, nine inch porgy. We're not gonna keep any nine inch, but there's that, that one's beefy, beefy enough. Yeah, that one's pretty good. <laughs> but yeah, as as you know, I've cooked porgy on the channel a couple of times. Uh, we catch them down in. Uh, in Key West as well, different species, but still in the porgy family or in the bream family. But uh, what's going on? Your rod broken over there? Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I'm holding my mouth right. I think they already ate it. No, <laughs> I'm still on that. I'm just waiting out for a big one, you know? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Let's see. That's your, that's your first New York porgy. Dude, this is a pinfish. How does it feel? It feels pretty good. <laughs> this is what I came here for. Trophies only. <laughs> We'll bled him. There bled you go. Him. Now he's gonna go in an ice slurry. Yeah, I'd eat porgy all day. <laughs> They're on it so fast. <laughs> oh, uh oh. Go ahead and take you into the dark. <laughs> Oh, two beefy ones. Old trick. Cast five feet out. Okay, okay. <laughs> they're not underneath, they're five feet out. How deep is it here? Like ten feet. Ten feet, yeah. I think I got robbed. Yeah, no. Let's see. Use, we'll use Will's advice, get five feet out. You ever do a uh, EKG mix? Yeah. There we go. Hashtag three barrels. <laughs> I'm hammering away on the small ones over here, so, you know, getting them out of the way for you. Very rare. There you go. I'm going for the exotics, you know. <laughs> That's your first bluefish. Trophy game fish right there. Oh, no, not your first blue. They have them down Florida, right? First New York bluefish. Okay, okay. That clicker gone. This, this reel is so old, and unfortunately, that clicker doesn't turn off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Make sure. There we go. Eleven inches. Go. Monster. Trophy. trophy. <laughs> Aaron, if you want me to teach you how to catch a trophy. I may need you to cast mine out there for me. Okay, okay. Maybe set the hook and let me reel it in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was coming. <laughs> there we go. Brained and bled. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> oh, oh. Ho, ho. Uh, unbelievable. Man. Can't go out like that. <laughs> There we go. Got <laughs> so, Aaron, remember we were talking about puffer fish? Yeah. There you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. These guys are like chicken wings. They are the best. Just don't want to get housed by his... Uh... By his super toxic spines? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Or by, by his wrench cutter mouth. Actually, can I grab a glove? Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. Got himself off. Mm. <laughs> Took your hook with him. I don't know where the hook ended up there. I don't think he swallowed it, so mm -mm. he'll be going back. But how cool are these guys? Nice. <laughs> I'm getting that one mounted. Monster. <laughs> Well, let me get on the other side of you here. That's a great one, man. It's just, you know, it's just in my blood. There you go. Giant porgies. Look at that thing. <laughs> what a beauty. So, you going to move up here now to New York? I mean, you know, this is kind of the culmination of my career. I've been training for this. I think I'm ready for full-time porgies in New York. <laughs> is that a keeper? Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Breathe. Breathe. Give me the belt. <laughs> there you go. Forgot that I wasn't working. I ruined my nice shirt. <laughs> That's your wedding, uh, yeah, your wedding dibs on bottom yeah. shirt. <laughs> This bay has a lot of uh, like big flat shelves and all, all of a sudden there's deep holes. Okay. And so like most of the current that goes like, that bay, Great Peconic Bay is huge and all the water that goes into there drains right through this race. I could see it when we were going over there. Yeah, so you get these spots where it's like 15 feet and all of a sudden it drops out to like 45, 50. And I like to fish coming up on the edges of those deep holes, uh, especially on the incoming tide because everything's just getting pushed down this way. They're sitting there waiting for the bay to go by. Yeah. Love it. Fit. it. Let the porgy smackdown commence. So, I don't know, I mean, I got the spots, but I don't have the fish, I don't have the bottom machine, yeah, so yeah. it's a little bit of a shot in the dark, but still fun. I've had plenty of those sticks. Yeah. I mean, we already got a bucket. Yeah, <laughs> we're all right. Yeah, now, now it's just fishing. all for fun now. <laughs> now we're fishing for extra. Time, though. <laughs> 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 all right. <laughs> <laughs> the reference. Where? Who's it gonna be? Either it's really bumpy bottom, or there are little stuff sticking me to death. Both are possible. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. I lost one. There's two on. That? Is it a marlin? <laughs> thought for a second it was a fluke. Felt, felt fluky. You guys get those in here? Yeah. Okay. Right. Make sure we good. <laughs> Come on. Oh. 
They hit it so hard, it feels like. <laughs> they do hit so hard. There we go. Oh, that might be the fish. Oh, oh man. <laughs> That's it. What's that? The hook in the hand? No, just just superficial. Look, oh. no blood. <laughs> he almost he almost got me. There we go. How many days a week are you out tending to the oysters? In the summer, it's like pretty much six days a week. Yeah. Um, in the fall, fall winter, probably only like two or three. I got you. Do you have your phone access? Oh. <laughs> That is a nice one. Here we go. That's it. We're hitting the big ones. You guys gave me the, the crappy part of the boat. <laughs> <laughs> all right, por porgy bite slowed down. That's all right. We got enough. We definitely got enough to cook. Oh, it's right as I said that. <laughs> That's a tiny one. Or a sea robin. Nope. Tiny porgy. Pinfish. <laughs> Look set. <laughs> Textbook. <laughs> yeah. You got someone down there putting a hook in for you. <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. I'm glad you decided to start fishing. Oh, I just put bait on. <laughs> What you got? Ooh, honker. That's that's actually trophies <laughs> only, bro. Okay, too. All right, we definitely got enough. There you go. Look at that thing. <laughs> oh, my guy's a little lethargic. He might be. Ah! He's like, wait, what? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Porgy fishing. We're done. We got enough. To make a couple meals. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Heck Will. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate it. Good times. I'm glad you caught one. <laughs> All right. We'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, so we're gonna make Italian style sandwiches with our porgy. Uh, first thing first, I got a Long Island tomato here. Use this end. But I'm gonna cut this into pretty big slices and then we're gonna get this under the, uh, under the broiler to try to get some char on that. And I'm not cooking it down all the way, just a little bit. A little bit of salt on there. A little bit of oregano. 
Just a bit of olive oil. All right, I'm gonna run these inside, put them under the broiler, and then we'll get our fish ready. Got some nice uh, ciabatta bread from the deli down here, or the bakery rather. Gonna go a pretty big sandwich here. This end, yeah. Toast this guy. I'm gonna have to do them separate, it's so big. <laughs> While that's toasting, let's get our our fish ready here. So I have basil. This is our cleaned porgy. And then I have prosciutto. So we are going to wrap our porgy in prosciutto before cooking it. So we need, oh, that's a skimpy slice, what the heck? They got me. There you go, much better slice. There we go, nice and toasted. All right, so we'll season each filet, just a little bit of pepper, and just a touch of salt. We don't need much because the prosciutto is salty. We salted that tomato. Okay, oh yeah. Let this cool down because we're gonna use that pan. So we have that salted, and I'm gonna do one basil leaf. Wrap that around. Wrap that around. Okay, those are ready for our pan. I'm actually gonna give that a wipe out just because some of the oil burned in there. Wiped our pan out. Now just a little bit of olive oil. And we'll wait for that to heat up for a second and then put our, our fish in. All right, looking good. Oh yeah. Okay, ready for a flip. Oh, yes! That prosciutto is nice and crispy. Get the oil under there. So I'm actually going to turn the heat off and just let the residual heat cook that because we don't want that fish to overcook. While that's finishing, I'm going to run and grab our tomatoes. Let's see where we're at. Beautiful. Crispy. The fish is just cooked through. Oof. All right, we have our par cooked tomato. And then I'm going to dress this side of the ciabatta with just a little bit of red wine vinegar.
You could use balsamic, but I feel like it overpowers a little bit. And just a drop of our olive oil. And then some oregano. Give that a cut. That porgy almost looks like mozzarella, but it's still juicy, just cooked through. Prosciutto's crispy. Let's dig in. This one looks even better. Look at that. <laughs> it's a lot to fit in my mouth. Well, I mean, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Good luck. I don't know. <laughs> That's why you cut it on an angle, so you, you know, okay, you, you well, don't have to go. That one looks a little easier. We'll start this on one? End. Yeah. Okay. From there. <laughs> okay. For those of you that don't know, this is Mama Clams, my mom. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so crispy prosciutto, roasted tomato. It's almost like a chicken cutlet. <laughs> the bread is nice and crispy, but yet soft. soft. Yeah. Which is nice. I don't think you've gotten to the, to I'm the basil I'm going yet. in for a second okay, bite. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes like pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get the tomato yet? I don't even know if we've gotten to the tomato yet. <laughs> well, I got the prosciutto and the cheese. There's no cheese. And that was a... That's fish? That's the fish. I'm yeah. sorry. No, it looks like micro... <laughs> <laughs> it does look like cheese. It looks mm -hmm. like mozzarella. <laughs> yeah. But no, no. That's the fish. Well, the next bite will be everything else plus the tomato. All right. We're eagerly, <laughs> eagerly awaiting. Mm. Mm. The tomato makes it. Very, yes. Yeah. And I was just going to say, I think you could overdo with the tomato. <clears throat> you could put more tomato on it. Yeah. Otherwise, it's very tasty, but the tomato... It's like the sauce. Yeah. Instead of putting mayo or anything like yeah. that on. No, yeah. It brings it all together. And yeah. It's really good. Well, very right. nice. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to continue to wrestle these, yeah. and uh, <laughs> we'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Thank you.